How we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a quick video on how to center your titles while using ggplot. So for this quick video, we're going to use a few libraries. We're going to use ggplot, of course. We're going to use dplyr because it's the best for data manipulation. And we're going to use the NYC Flights 13. Um, and this is just going to be for the data set so that you can follow along. You probably might not have that one, so make sure to download it. Install it if you don't. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a new uh, data frame here called NYC. And we're going to add New York City Flights 13 uh, colon colon flights. And so we can see over here we have a new variable with 336,000 observations. And so you'll see how quickly ggplot does, you know, that's not a small amount of data there, how quickly it plots it. Okay, let's take a look at the data set. Um, what we're going to plot is a histogram of distance. So we're going to take all the distances and phew, plot her all down. So we'll do New York City, a little ggplot where our AES, we have an X is equal to distance. And then we're going to put that in a geome histogram. Isn't ggplot awesome? That's all you got to do? Whew. I mean, it kind of looks like poop at the beginning, but we can fix this up. That gets us at least a histogram. Um, so if we look, we have some outliers here at 5,000. I don't know where they're flying. They must have a beast plane to go that far and not need to fuel up. Um, but it makes our graph look a little funky. So let's filter these out. So we're only looking at 3,000 and less. Um, so this is where our D plier is going to come in. So we're going to filter. This is going to, it just filters our rows based on whatever criteria we give it. So, so we'll say we want our distance to be less than 3,000. So this is going to keep all the observations where our distance is less than 3,000. That's looking better. There's still some holes in here. I don't know. Maybe it'll look better with more bins. You can see we get a warning down here where they default set our bins to 30, and they say it might, might be better with something else. So let's try 100 and see how it looks. Mm, that looks a little funky. Maybe let's do 20. All right, that looks better. Still, still not like an awesome shape, but you know, we're not doing a world's prettiest graph here, are we? <laughs> we're just trying to, we're just trying to plot titles here. All right, so let's make some labels. We'll do title is equal to histogram for distances flown, and so ggplot it always just plots it over here on the left, which I don't know, I've gotten used to and I kind of just leave it here now, but a lot of charts it looks better if it's in the center, so how do we do that? You might say, <clears throat> well, we're gonna do a theme plot.title is equal to element text H just is equal to 0 0.5. 0 0.5. <laughs> Histogram for distances flown right in the center. But we can make this graph look even better, okay? And you might not have asked for this, but you're going to get it, okay? <laughs> the extra stuff that you get here, it's just unbelievable. It's like a, it's like a sale or something. So over here on the side, this is kind of hard to read. Like you got to start counting zeros. Uh, is that 4,000, is that 40,000, you know? Um, what we could do is put a comma in there. So let's scale, scale Y continuous. And we'll do our label is equal to scales, comma, if I can type. And so now we got some good looking counts over there on the side. 
Also, we might need a subtitle. Honestly, I'm inter interested if this is going to center it or not. So let's see. Uh, let's just put in 2013. So if you do a subtitle, that doesn't center it. And as you've probably guessed how we're going to fix this, we're going to do plot.subtitle is equal to the same thing here. Element text h just is equal to 0 0.5. And now, mm, work of art, okay? We might not have been in this to create the best looking chart in ggplot, but we came darn near close here. <laughs> uh, if you found this video helpful, make sure to press like so other people can find it. Make sure to subscribe if you want, maybe only a little exaggerating, but not really, okay? The best art content ever, okay? Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> and thanks for your time. Have a good day. I hope you found this helpful. See ya.